When the public thinks of the Academy of Natural Sciences in Philadelphia, they think of us as the dinosaur museum. But that's actually only a tiny part of what goes on here. The, the research extends into all fields of natural history and covers the time span not only from dinosaurs, but right up to the very minute. There are between 17 and 18 million scientific specimens housed here at the Academy that have been collected over the years. And every one of them represents a eureka moment of, of one sort or another. I can go into the collection any day of the week, look at specimens that Audubon collected. Um, here's a specimen that John Gould collected in the 1830s in Australia. Um, you literally point to any, any place on the map, we can go into the collection and find specimens from that area. We've been in the business of paleontology for 200 years, and that includes active research today where we're not only building on the finds and the discoveries and the interpretations of previous fossils, but actually out there finding new things. The Patrick Center is looking at various current day issues like the Marcellus shell drilling impact to the Pennsylvania area, as well as impact of climate change on tidal marshes within the Delaware estuary. Coastal ecosystems and uh, coastal wetlands in general are very interesting environments and they're ideal for examining the impacts of both climate change and also localized human impacts. One of the interesting things about this site in particular at Dennis is you can actually see the cedar trees that have died off that are still standing dead and that's uh, directly caused by sea level rise. We don't want to lose these systems. There are people that depend upon these areas for their livelihood, so it's important to understand the processes that allow them to exist and continue into the future. Part of our mission here is to make sure that science education is fun and engaging and that we give people a sense of wonder about the natural world. This is the place that might just be your first introduction to, to a butterfly, to a screech owl, to uh, a dinosaur bone. That simple meeting creates the intellectual spark, even for a youngster, where questions begin. And isn't that what it's all about, being curious? This is a place of discovery. All around us are, are discoveries that have been made in other generations, at other times. You know, a hundred years from now, people will be looking back at my specimens uh, to answer evolutionary and ecological questions that I can't even envision, you know, we can't even frame in our minds right now. I love being associated with all that goes on here at the Academy. It's a fascinating group of people. They're doing interesting things all over the world. Uh, and not a day goes by here when something isn't discovered, something isn't learned, uh, and, and then I don't get some uh, insight into the way the world works. Yeah.